welcome back to Evan Screener. As you can see, you might have seen the YouTube short that I probably posted before this video. And this little Christmas tree tent at Lowe's. And as you can see, I'm at Lowe's because remember the sprinklers that broke? Or right, when I was doing the sprinkler check, what was it like Saturday or Sunday for this game? Well, today I'm going to show you what repair stuff that you might need. So, first you're going to want to come to your local Lowe's, which in this case I'm at Lowe's, but you really can't see it because I decided to come at the Christmas tree tent because I thought it was going to be good for you guys. Comment down below if your Lowe's already has trees too. You can see there's the front sign up there. Let me go out. The smell is amazing in there though. Just because of the trees, the smell is really good in here. They're playing Christmas music in here too. Oh guys, I found the little nook too. Yeah, this is cool. There's just like hundreds of trees in here. So you're gonna want and we're gonna, I might do a little walk through the garden center for you. There you have Norfolk pines, poinsettias, a lot of Norfolk pines. And you can see the garden centers in there. So I'll resume the video when we're about to do that. So get back for now. Number one, you always want to check your list to make sure what sprinkle picks you need because they hundreds of different like little knickknacks for your sprinklers so we're at the garden center and let's just explore it together there's still a lot of poinsettias and trees over here Yeah, it's like how cool this is. They have rosemary and they shaped it for a Christmas tree. Leaving up more poinsettias. Also, look for Black Friday because some of these poinsettias right here will only be like 68 cents. I found that out last year. <clears throat> and another reason I always love to come to Lowe's for their trees and like every really garden need, mostly for plants and trees because. Lowe's will always have every single time. I don't know if they still do it. I think they do. Because it's been a while. The sun looks. But they have a one year guarantee for every plant or tree. If you die, you can just bring it back here and they'll refund it for your money. So you can get another one. I mean, how cool is that? They'll literally refund your tree so you can get. That's really cool, in my opinion. They got more. <laughs> Some birds of paradise. Oh, I... Some lady oats. And they got some... More bushes over here. Crown in. Ooh, how much I'm below? This is really cool. They got crown in. You guys, they got coconut palms. They got... Look at these. Are good. these. Yeah, they got... You and me right, this is a Lowe's in Florida, You're, so your Lowe's probably doesn't think got this, but they got coconut palms for about 30 bucks. I've seen healthy ones, but they're pretty good looking. And they got hibiscus over here. More, lots of bushes. Look at the bougainvillea section just popping with color. They got banana palms. I like the, the banana palms. I got one. Mine's producing bananas. You, if you didn't make a YouTube short about that soon. More coconut palms. <clears throat> There's been a little palm tree shortage. There's not as much palm trees as usual. But they still have palm trees. They have bougainvilleas. And guys, I got some bromeliads over here. Look at these tiny succulents. Some Boston ferns. Some white orange bird of paradise. White bird of paradise. I might have to come back and get these later. I'll let you know if we get one. 
<laughs> but I'm gonna stop and get a, a little car and we will go explore the sprinkler section. So I'll meet you when I have the car and I'm about to go in the sprinkler section. Bye. I have to go through at the store. They got palm trees here too. They got pinguine palms. They got Christmas palms. They even got some little coconut palms over here too. They got, these are pretty rare to have. They got silver and eight palms, majesties. There's even one big couple thatch palms in here. Little coconut, some foxtails, some triangle palms. Fishtail palms. And just a little garden herb plants. I got some herbs, I got tomatoes over here. And I'm gonna have to go get a cart now because they wouldn't let me go in through the front. So I'm going through the other way. I got some carts, now we're gonna have to. For some reason, it's all the way in the back of my Lowe's. It might be an area at your Lowe's, maybe in the front. I don't know, it would be more convenient if it was in the front. But in my Lowe's, it's in the back, so. You know where the pipes are, plumbing section. I have them in here. Yeah, we do. Perfect guys, so you're gonna want to get some sprinklers right now. Like these ones. There's one of them. Two of those. I mean there's tons of different men. There's way more there's K Rain, there's I got there's Orbit. There's even Tora. I don't think they have them here. They do up there. Oh, something the way. They got Tora. They got K-Rain. They got Rainbird. They got all kinds of different brands and kinds of heights too. Mine's a four inch. It's different for everybody. Sure, it's got two of these. That's pretty much what I need. There's also a couple other ones. There's like 360. I only really need these. With a couple other small little risers. I think now they switched everything around to this one. It's probably gonna be all the way back through now. These are always good to have, but I don't really need any in this case. I had these. They're getting a little big. Actually, I do need a nozzle guy. Right? Don't really need any of that. Sorry. Thank you. I just need a regular, you're not a 90 inch. Normal rainbird. Not really a shrub nozzle. Just a regular, not regular nozzle right here. 
this place is only like a half of the community. It might be over here. No, I don't know. So I guess I might have to go with one of this one probably. And yeah, it's adjustable too. So you can put that pretty much wherever you want now. I also need to repair a couple of the risers. With a couple of these. We got four of them. I'll I don't think I recorded it, but I'll show you why I need them later. <coughs> we also have longer risers for my sprinklers need to. Can't really see the fun about this moment because I just sat there in the middle of pretty much switching everything around. Oh, they're right here. I need one of those because it broke. And mine. And that's pretty much it. They've torn all these two. Yeah, that's pretty much all they need for this sprinkler fixing right now. Like I said earlier, they have different tons of types of sprinklers. They even got some, I don't really need these though. And they also have these, I don't know how far those go. <coughs> But, but like I said, they even have different heights. Like, look at these it's for over flower beds. <laughs> I don't really have any flower beds except for the front yard, so I don't really need them. So, I also need one of these, too. Not one of the small ones, though. I need one of the normal big ones right here. for one of them because it's been spraying the house and it's a little too low so I think that's pretty much it I don't really need anything else but that yeah pretty much just that so let's right, so make sure we I forgot one little thing no, they don't really have them. They have the K Ray, and I'm gonna show you that. Always make sure to put a like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And I'll meet you at the house when we switch everything around. Bye. Okay, so we're back home, and this all I I this, you I you saw me vi video this at the store. This is all, pretty much all I got and all I really needed it was some um, K Ray four inch. It's always different, right? You might need the 90 or 360. In this case, I need the 180 for all of them. And I got an adjustable one for this one. And it's an, it sprays 8 feet. You mo Most of the time, sprinklers come in 15 feet. But I need an 8 feet because I have a sprinkler right there that I'm replacing. And it goes all the way to right there. That's just a little 8 feet gap. Maybe not even 8 feet. And this because I one of them broke so I had to get one of these fun fact about these they're also cuttable so you can cut them to the size that you need in this case I'm gonna be using the full length of it and I got these to raise up my sprinkler heads because there's some down over here the grass level has, has been getting so high the grass is right here the sprinklers all the way down there which really does not work so that's why I got some extendables for a couple of other sprinklers. And I'll be filming for all that right now for my first one. Okay, so the first step, like always, like I've shown right here in the process, you just 
want to dig up and expose the spring for. You can move this. I was just having this here to mark it. That tells me that it's around here somewhere. Let me just mark it so my hands don't get all dirty. And just like that. Right around here. I want to grab the donut right here too. Grab the donut off. And you know I'm just gonna put it in faster. Okay, and just like that, we finished with the first one. We've swapped out the old one, you can see right here. It's quite an old one. With the new one. That's the one that we just got today. So, on with the next project. This is the one that I'm not really sure about what's happening with it. It's just like water was pouring out of the top of it. Like, water is coming out of here and going down there. Which you can see because there's dirt everywhere. And it's a little like loose. I can move it, which is not good. That's normally a sign something broke. Hopefully it's not a pipe. I'm pretty sure it's the riser. That's what I showed you earlier what it's for. I'm like, I'm like really pretty sure it's this riser. Because that's what, that's what's underneath it. Because I don't. The people who put the sprinklers in didn't raise it up a not, uh, high enough, so I had to put this riser in, like, ten years ago, so it's probably broken by now, because it's expired, like, around eight years. So it's kind of my fault, because I didn't change it, but, whatever. <laughs> so, I'll do another hyperlapse on changing this one. Bye. Okay, so it's exactly what I thought it was. It was this riser, hopefully it was not the, it was not the pipe, as you can see, the pipe is right there, it's all white, it's right down there, and this is the riser that broke off, some of it's still on there, we might have to get some needle nose pliers or something, Let's see, hopefully I can save this one, because the rest of it's in there, which is pretty easy, you just grab it, twist it, and get this one out, so, back to the hyperlapse of me trying to fix this. And just like that, that sprinkler's complete, so it's two down and two to go. I'm gonna leave that later to pick up, and let's head on to our next sprinkler. Bring all my stuff with me, and I'll see you at the next sprinkler. Another one down, three down, one to go. No, actually three down, two to go. I 
That's right, as you guys see, I did not replace it with another sprinkler this time because the sprinkler works 100% perfectly fine. The only thing that was wrong with it was it was too low, so that's why I put in like a higher nozzle for it. So that's what I did. And now on to the next one. Four down, two to go. See, by that, I replaced it with an 8-inch nozzle sprinkler, so it shouldn't be hitting the sidewalk. So, again, four down, one to go. Because, again, that one's not replacing the sprinkler, it's just a little... I needed to raise it up, which I raised it up to the appropriate height that it should be in. And the wind felt pushed you over, pull you over, and stopped recording. I no, mean, I'm really sorry for that, but you can't do what already happened. And also, a good tip is to put pack the grass around it, so it'll look better. And it will take two, so it'll look good. Once eventually it will take. This is what came out of it, though. This is old from the 19. This is probably from the 1990s, when the house was built. So, I'll pick that up, and I'm going to go around, pick up everything, and then I'll take, we will go check out, turn them on. Bye. Okay, and as you can see, we're back at the controller. About to turn on time one. For about 15 minutes. Let's see the new sensors that we need. Guys, it seems like they work. That one I lowered and made it higher because it's way too low. So that one is going to be good. Check on the other ones that I have worked on. That one's not spraying yet because I have to adjust it. Same with this one. I just have to adjust that one and it will spray. Guys, here's one that I let fix with a new sprinkler that we got today at Lowe's. That one's doing pretty good. And I got a new one that I'm going to come over and adjust with you guys. Right now, just to show you how to adjust it, that one's doing fairly well. The one in the corner is doing pretty good. And then this one. Which I love. <laughs> Pretty sure you just really all you do is you just need to grab it. The old sprinkler will move. Just adjust it to what you want to do. Which is pretty easy to do. And then there you go. You have exactly what you want it to be. And then let's go to the yard again. And turn on it. I'm not going to play zone 2 for you guys because I never really. I didn't do any sprinklers on zone 2 to fix them or repair them. It's just zone one and three. Zone two has only like, I think it has like five sprinklers on it. So there's really nothing wrong with it. And I'll turn on zone three. Hey guys, I just signaled zone three to turn on, and as you can see, it's turning on now with this one. This one I replaced. I didn't really record it though because if it was recording it, it wasn't. That one's doing pretty good. That one in the corner, I could use a new nozzle. Next time I go to Lowe's, I'll get that. This one's doing pretty good. I also replaced this one. Which you guys saw me do in the video. 
And then let's check out the other ones that are repaired. Hope, hopefully there's no pouring out of water anymore, leaking anymore. That's a relief to see. It's doing exactly what you want it to do, guys. With these sprinklers in the back. And the other two are doing perfectly fine. And the ones back here, hopefully, are doing the exact same. And they're doing perfectly fine. There's that one. And then there's that one down there. Yep, there's one. They're doing it perfect, exactly as though that I want them to do. So before I'm about to shut off this, I always want to remind you guys to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and comment down in the video what you want to see. Like, for example, maybe there's a certain palm tree you want to see, like a queen palm, or a pygmy date palm again, or maybe a spindle palm, or maybe another sprinkler video, anything about that. No, obviously nothing that's up north. Stuff that's in Florida that you're like interested in. Because I can't really go up north because it's Florida right now. And make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. See you in the next video. Bye.